wow, in some places they're talking about bringing back bears and wolves and stuff. I think we should do that here. That'd be totally cool. No way. We can't have wild animals roaming around. They'd be eating all the sheep and cows, and people wouldn't be able to go walking in the country in case they got attacked. They could even eat people's pets. Yeah, it'd be quite good, I reckon. I'd be all for bringing beavers back to England. Like they have in Scotland, for instance. All those dams would increase fish supplies for England. There'd probably be fewer floods and better biodiversity. I think it'd be a win-win situation. Well, it's all very well talking about experiments, but experiments can go wrong, and they should be sure what they're doing before they take any risks. They brought back peregrine falcons, which keep taking my lambs. I don't think anyone thought of that. Wolves, you'd be even worse. And what happens if new animals bring in diseases that spread to others? Have they thought of that? I don't think we should bring animals back that don't live here anymore, because it's cruel. They might not know how to survive flight before, and they wouldn't know what to do in a strange place. Reintroduction of species is a very complex proposition. There are important animal welfare implications and ethical and moral issues to think about. The RSPCA believes it should only be considered with full regard for the welfare of both introduced animals and those already present before, during and after reintroduction. Any breeding, transportation and husbandry should put the animal's needs and welfare first. It will only stand a chance of success if local communities support the move and will not persecute the animals. It can work well. In 1932, there were no red kites in Scotland or England and only two pairs in Wales. But after a reintroduction programme, there are now thriving populations in the Chilterns and Wales. In fact, the numbers have gone up so much, birds are being sent to boost struggling populations elsewhere in Europe. Conservation groups have educated landowners and gamekeepers, so there is less persecution of the birds. And the rise in numbers has made their eggs so common, illegal egg collectors don't look for them anymore. But the project hasn't worked everywhere in the UK. The Scottish population has gone down from 100 pairs in 1993 to only 45 in 2009, mainly because of illegal poisoning. The five-year trial to reintroduce beavers in Scotland will be carefully monitored and at the end of that time a decision will be made on whether to reintroduce them more widely in Scotland.